team in high school. This is Griffin Brown with the UI Podcast. Today we have Mr. Tempest in the hot seat. Glad to have you here today. So, Mr. Tempest, tell me a little about yourself. Thank you, Griffin. Yes, my name's Tony Tempest, and I'm one of the principals here at Union High School. Um, I've been an administrator now for about nine years, and I consider myself almost a lifer at Union Schools. So I'm assuming you went to Union when you were in your school days? Yes, I graduated from Union, um, went here every year, started in second grade. So almost a lifer, but not quite, but been here second grade through high school, graduated, and then my first job was here as well. What elementary school did you go to? I went to Peters Elementary. Peters. My wife went to Peters, my, all my family, her family, and um, as well as all my kids went to Peters. Did you meet your wife at Peters by any chance? Well, we knew each other. We, we didn't necessarily other. meet there, but mm. uh, we went to high school together. She graduated a year before me. She um, actually teaches at the ninth grade center. She teaches uh -huh. math over at the ninth grade center. But yeah, so we went to elementary, junior high, high school, and then uh, got married. That's very cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so we're going to start off with little basic questions. Um, let me start off with, what is your favorite music to listen to? Favorite music? Man, I listen to everything, but I'd say if I had one go-to, I'd probably, it'd probably be country music. Country. Who's your favorite yeah. country artist? Well, I don't even know if I could name one. I just like yeah. listening to random old country um, from, you know, I'm trying to think what I have on like Pandora right now from uh, Waylon Jennings, Hank Williams to the stuff that's out now to everything on the radio. I kind of just, I'm constantly flipping through channels looking for different music. Wow. Do you by any chance know an Eric Church? I know Eric Church. Well, not personally, but not yes, personally, I, I've yes. heard of him. You've yes. heard of him, yes. I like him. I like I, his music. I like him as well. He's probably my favorite country artist, but I don't listen to much country. Um, what is your favorite food to eat, if you could choose one? Because there are tons out there. If I could only choose one food, it would be chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, that would be it. But if I got to pick meals, you know, one thing. I don't know. I think tacos, fajitas, followed by chocolate chip cookies would be... Would, would make it. That sounds like a dream meal. That is tasty. Um, do you have a favorite sport? I, mean, I coach for a long time, so I like all sports. Um, I have coached a little bit of everything here at Union. Uh, during high school, I played football and wrestled, played baseball up until ninth grade, uh, different things, but I don't know. Man, I just watch a little bit of everything. What season it is, I'm watching. I'm a big Minnesota Vikings fan, mm. Minnesota Twins. Um, and then I, you know, I really like the Oklahoma City Thunder, too. It's going to be a tough year to go back yes. and watch them, so I don't know what I'm going to do all winter. But I watch a lot of sports. What position did you play in high school football? In high school football here, so things have changed a lot since I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, I was an offensive line and defensive lineman here at, here at the high school. Mm. Uh, what position were you in baseball? In baseball, I played a little bit of everything, from a little bit of outfield to catcher. Did and then you, I wrestled just for a couple years couple here, years. something to do. Did you play baseball and football throughout all your high school years? No, I didn't play. Played baseball up through eighth grade. Eighth grade. But then football played through high school. High school. Yep. Okay. And so why do you like the Minnesota Vikings and the Minnesota Twins? Are you from Minnesota? I am. I'm from Minneapolis. I moved here uh, when I was in second grade and came to school here. And um, just have always followed them. And, and no, none of those. We don't have professional teams here in Oklahoma besides right. the basketball. So. Yeah, it makes it easy to follow those two teams. Um, what is your favorite travel destination? Do you like traveling? I do. I love traveling. Um, we go a lot of different places. I'd say the favorite place I've ever been is Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. It's really cool. We got to go there over spring break one year, and it was really neat. But we go to probably, I, I really like going to the beach anywhere. So we went to uh, Gulf Shores this summer. So anywhere where I can lay on the beach, fish, swim, mm. those types of things I'm good with. Mm-hmm. Um, were you involved in any other activities at Union High School? I wasn't. I mean, I was involved in sports, but I wasn't a student counselor or leadership or anything like that. Just sports and going to class and, um, that's it. Hmm. Uh, what were you like in high school? Did you get into any trouble? Oh, I would say probably not. Probably not. I was trying to think of that even before I came in, but no, not really. Um, I went to class like I was supposed to, probably missed class a few times, those types of things. Mm -hmm. 
I remember one time though in the spring we did, we missed class on a particular day and we had a new coach. Coach Blankenship had just moved in here and he was a new coach at Union and we came back the next day and he kind of had um, uh, a little surprise for us that decided not to go to practice that day. So I think that was probably the last practice hmm. I ever missed. Oh, yeah. Um, do you miss high school? Oh yeah. Yeah, high school was awesome. I loved being here, I think anywhere, but you know, that you go to high school, but it's just a great time to, you know, you're with your friends, you don't have a lot of responsibility, you might have a job, I mean, I worked through high school and those types of things, but mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of just taking care of yourself and like I said, not a lot of responsibilities and you can go to class, go to sports, hang out with your friends and then, you know, after college life hits and that doesn't really happen. Right, high school is a pretty chill very, time in your life. Very. Um, why did you choose to be a principal? I coached right when I got out of high school, coached for 14 years, um, was here for about five years and then left with Coach Frederick and him and I went to Stillwater together and spent a year at Owasso and then came back and um, so coached for 14 years and then and was in the classroom taught and just decided I wanted uh, to do something else and I wanted to coach my kids. Um, so I got out, went to administration and kept coaching, kept coaching their youth sports and those types of things, which by not coaching at the high school level, you know, kind of gave me some more time and though and that. So right. went into administration, was an assistant principal for a couple of years and then became um, I've been a class principal now. This is be my seventh year. I've had two full classes. I had the class of 2016, the class of 2019, and now we'll have this class of 2022. Um, you said that whenever you got back with Coach Frederick that you, did you say you taught a class? I taught, yes. I taught at the ninth grade center, taught biology, biology. and physical science. And then um, when I came to the high school, taught a little bit of everything in the science department. Oh. Um, why did you choose Union High School? Was it because you went to Union almost your whole life? I did, and when I grabbed, actually my last year of college, Coach Blankenship allowed me to uh, kind of help out as, as a coach while I was finishing up school, and then hired me um, as soon as I graduated college, and this is where I wanted to be, and there was, fortunately, there was a position, and uh, it was actually, it's kind of ironic, but uh, Mr. Shagwar had coached. He was a coach here as well mm -hmm. and was one of my coaches as well as Mr. Frederick was, or Coach Frederick was. But when Mr. Shagwar went into administration, that opened up a spot on the staff, and that's, that's the spot that I actually moved into when I became a coach. Cool, cool. Um, when you were in elementary school, did you ever imagine yourself to be an assistant principal? Oh, never. Never? Never. I don't think until I got into college and um, really decided that I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. And I thought, you know, I, as soon as I finished my undergraduate, I got my master's right away because I knew I wanted to get it done and get it out of the way. And I had it for several years before I went into administration. And I think that's, you know, eventually could see myself going into be a principal. But no, not when I was in elementary by any stretch. Oh. Uh, what college did you go to? I went to NSU in Tahlequah. Mm. They have a pretty good soccer team now, don't they? Do they? I honestly, I couldn't even tell you. Couldn't tell they you. may. Do you ever go to the football games? I haven't been to a football game since I graduated. Oh. I just never get up that way, and, you know, we're always so busy with youth stuff. Here on the weekends, if I do have a Saturday off, it's try to go to an OSU or OU game or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you have a son <clears throat> at the high school, right, Braxton? I do. I do. He's a junior. What's it like having him here and you here at the same time? Do you like it? Yeah. I do. I don't know if he does. You don't know if he does. You know, if he gets to go to work with his dad every day, those types of things. But I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing, being able to see him in the halls. We don't, we don't talk a lot while we're at school, those types of things. But seeing him go to class and just being around, you know, your kids as they're here and, and as they grow up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, is he on the football team? No, he is junior class uh, president for leadership. Leadership. And um, enjoys doing that. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So you said you went to Turks and Caicos this spring break, right? It was been a couple years now. This spring break, we actually went to Disney World. Disney World. Last, maybe it was two or three years ago, we went to Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. Yeah. And so you said that you did a lot of fishing, right? Not there. In Golf there. Shores, we do. In, Golf in, Shores. In, in Turks and Caicos, we just pretty much laid on the beach, swam with the different snorkeling and different things like that. But okay. Yeah. All right.
what do you want the upcoming sophomores to know about the high school? I think any incoming class at the high school needs to, and it's hard. I remember when I came from the ninth grade center over here as a student myself, it's, um, it's intimidating. It's even bigger now than when I was here. But to just relax, um, all going to work out. They're going to find their classes. Um, they're going to like their teachers, those types of things. It, but it is. It, it takes three or four days to mm -hmm. get past that um, being intimidated of whether you're taking the bus or parents dropping you off, walking into this building and thinking everybody's looking at you, and they're really not. Everybody's taking care of themselves. And, um, you know, that and then spend the next three years. I told them this at Tribe Retreat last week. Um, every opportunity you get, find people you can meet. Um, build relationships. A lot of the friends you have now or maybe, you know, two or three will stick with you, but you'll be surprised at the new people you'll meet throughout the high school that you that you never thought you'd, you know, maybe click with right. and you're friends with them and those types of things. Um, what is your why? My why, I think in education it's got to be, um, it's here it's, I mean, we are big on building relationships, those types of things. But I think ultimately education is, if you can, if you can educate a student, a, you know, a child, an adult, whatever age level it is, if you can educate them and give them the tools to do something, they can better themselves, they can better their fa family, and hopefully better their communities. Um, you know, if all the communities are taking care of themselves, families are taking care of themselves, those types of things, um, you know, we all, we all have the opportunity to live a little bit better. Um, and the only way you can do that is to get an education of some sort. Does it have to be the traditional, you know, book, graduate college, those types of things? Man, it can be a trade school. It can right. be anything out there. But just some way to better yourself and better your family and be able to take care of those things in your community. Okay. Um, what are your visions for the future of Union High School? I think the visions kind of go back to the why of one thing we yeah. do a really good job of here is providing a lot of different opportunities. Um, whether it's just the, like I've said, the traditional student that wants to do it that way or a student who wants to take TCC classes or go to Votech or now is going to go over to our innovation lab or as part of early college high school. Those are all things that no other school in this area in the country sometimes even has. Um, from Career Connect, uh, you know, the student that spends two hours a day doing an internship and then gets hired right when they graduate. Right. I mean, those are ways that we keep the students engaged. And if they have a reason to come here every day um, because they know they're getting something out of it because it's what they want, um, we have a better opportunity to for every one of our kids to succeed. And that's kind of our, I mean, that is our goal here, 100% graduation. Mm -hmm. um, however we have to do it, however we have to keep you engaged. But that's the vision. Continue to stay out on the edge of everything we offer within our district. Um, why didn't you leave the state of Oklahoma? I had an opportunity to leave when I was about my third year of teaching and could have went to Texas and, you know, made more money mm. um, than teaching in Oklahoma. But this is my home. This is where I wanted to be. This is where my family is. Um, and just decided to, you know, stay here and haven't looked back. Um, you know, we never got, I never got in this profession to, you know, make a lot of money, do those things. I got in it because it was the things I wanted to do. I wanted to teach and I wanted to coach and whatever that paid, it paid. So, uh, you know, chasing something that I really love, you know, just moving to Texas or wherever it may be just for that wasn't, wasn't a reason for me to go. Right. I had friends here, had family here, and that was the more important thing that kept me here. Okay, nice. Um, so let's take it back to the more basic questions now. Okay. Um, tell me what your favorite movie is, favorite movie that you've ever seen. Man, I've got a couple. Uh, I love Braveheart. Braveheart. The movie that I watch over and over and over is Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. I can, act, I can watch that two or three times a day and never get bored. Really? I would say of all the movies, those are probably my, and I've got other ones. I mean, I watch a lot of movies. Um, I like old movies, those types of things. Mm -hmm. But of those two, I really like uh, those Braveheart. And then if I'm just want to, you know, lay around, not think at all, laugh, it's got to be Dumb and Dumber for me. 
Is that the one with Jim Carrey? Yes. Jim, okay. Yes. Uh, what would you say your favorite TV show to watch is? Probably Sports Center. Sports Center. Yep. All about I mean, sports. Yep. I. I mean. I don't watch a lot of where I have to, you know, be home on a Wednesday night at seven to watch a particular show where I'm taping it over and over. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's something I turn on, I'll turn on that. Um, I like Impractical Jokers. Um, I watch it, mm -hmm. every episode of that. I really like that. But as far as, I'll watch different things that are on, but I don't have one set show. Favorite, okay. Um, well, those are all the questions I have for you. Awesome. Uh, thank you for being here today.